Added offline co-op games. That's good. That's good. Uh, it's only for EOD though. Standard accounts. Good. Updated the plane flying trajectories and decreased the engine sound volume. That's good. Grenade launcher. I'm not really looking forward to that. Thing's gonna be pain. So maybe the lane peaks won't be completely invisible now. That'll be good. Yeah, I think so too. Playhouse is expanded. Also added new interiors inside the water treatment plant facility complex. Three new bosses. These are the rogue bosses, I assume. Big Pipe prefers the grenade launcher. That's going to be very scary. Bosses maintain contact with each other and with the other rogues. However, they don't stick together. Instead, keep their positioning distance when an enemy is detected by any of the bosses or rogues. Information on enemy location is transmitted to everyone by radio. The bosses prepare for battle, taking up tactical positions for engagement. Bosses help each other, use all available weapons, and are hostile to everyone. Players of any faction, scavs, and raiders. They don't communicate with the rest of the bosses and fence, so they attack any enemy immediately. Killing them does not affect players' reputation. The bosses' habitats are lighthouse, shoreline, woods, and customs. They do not stay in one place and instead wander through these locations all the time. If the bosses have moved to one of the maps, they will be absent on the others. There's no timetable for their movement, and no one knows what what the bosses are guided by when changing their location. So yeah, they definitely rotate through the maps. It's kind of crazy. Added offline co-op games. That's good. That's good. Uh, it's only for EOD though. Standard accounts. Get fucked. All settings for boss. Bots, bosses, and time and weather are identical to online raids. Progress and co-op raids are not saved. So it's just like regular uh, offline raids just with a group. That's good. Spawn as a group checkbox allows for all players to in the group to spawn together in the center of the location. With the checkbox unticked, all players will spawn like in online mode. Oh, that's pretty bitchin'. The number of players in the group for the co-op mode has been increased and depends on the maximum number of players in the selected location. The number of co-op servers may be limited under heavy loads, in this case the group gathering screen. You will see a message saying attention high load on practice mode servers. This message means that finding a server for co-op raid may take longer than usual. Rework the move animations, updated the animations for characters movement, jumps, and stances, added new breathing animations, melee attack, and weapon drawing and holstering that's pretty cool that's pretty cool added daily tasks for player scavs tasks will be given out by fence once a day after building the intelligence center in the hideout regardless of the pmc character level hmm. added a new type of daily task searching for items from a category such as food medicine weapons etc all items will need to be found in one raid that's pretty cool I like that. So another added level of stress for Tarkov. Added slots for special items and PMC inventory in which you can put a compass and a rangefinder, a Wi-Fi camera, a marker, and other special items. You need to assign a key to that quick access. I think you can pull like a camera out by pressing like uh, what your hotkey is. That's pretty cool. Added a flare gun, single shot, reactive flare rounds with lighting with and flare ammo shooting red signal flares will call in a plane with an airdrop to fly to the nearest possible location updated the airdrop mechanics added four types of containers oh you need contents weapons medicine supplies general purpose countermeasure flares when flying in dropping the container okay that's cool updated the plane flying trajectories and decreased the engine sound volume that's good New task for lighthouse territories, that's cool. Figured though, with new bosses. Update the base clothing for the USEC and bear PMCs, it's pretty cool. Added new head models for USEC and bear PMCs, that's cool. Added new weapons and customizations for them. Uh, Benelli M3, it's a shotgun, I guess I said that correctly. Accuracy International AXMC sniper rifle. Uh, MP18 single shot rifle. RD704 assault rifle, I'm not sure what that is. Not a big gun guy, so. SAG AK, um, G36 will be pretty cool, I think. Uh, MGL M32, grenade launcher. I'm not really looking forward to that. Things gonna be pain. Rework the animation for the the MP133 and the MP9. New model animations and modifications for the SV98. It's about time that gun got some love, to be honest. New equipment and items. 
bike day, let's school. Yeah, people will definitely have a GL day one, I assume. Definitely. Somebody will. Is a bonuses for perception skill. Now the hearing radius increases by 0.03% per level up until 15% for the max level. Before this change, the hearing radius was increased by 0.7 and up to 35%. That is a good change. As somebody who always had max perception, I feel like it was very broken. That's a good change. Change the inertia speed on force when leaning. So maybe the lane peaks won't be completely invisible now. That'll be good. New crafting recipes in the hideout reworked the elite metabolism skill effect. Now with zero hydration and energy, you will not receive any thirst or hunger damage, but still receive other negative effects. Before this change, there were no negative effects at all. Reworked elite strength skill. Now weapons equipped on sling on back and in the holster become weightless. All the other equipment and item weight and chest rig backpack pouch and containers that's it normally before this change all equipment and weapons were weightless okay so just like what rigs and bags are a weight thing now some graphics improvements okay 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 performance mode is only available for 4k ultra <laughs> what is 1080 and 4k get love but 2k is 2k is just stuck right there why bro new voices for bear and usec i'm really excited to hear the usec however i'm going bear this way i think going bear is going to be very good I hope the broken English sounds good. Also, they reworked the laser sights for all tactical devices. With the IR mode enabled, the lasers and flashlights will not be visible uh, since they are designed to use for NVGs. Also, the intensity of the brightness of uh, standard non-IR laser has been increased. And a ton of fixes. A ton of them. Kill is no longer hostile to player scouts with a reputation above 6.0. I didn't know that was a thing. KS-23, adjusted aiming accuracy. KS-23 will be good again. Added inertia when quickly tapping AD keys. I thought we always had that, but it's gonna be weird. The movement may feel a little different. Added a sorting table to mail and task reward screens. That's pretty bitchin'. Pretty good.